okay so let's discuss about fex fabric extenders fabric extenders are can serve like a remote io module so this this is a normal switch that is added to your 5k series so this will be managed by your 5000 series or 7000 series nexus switches as of now this can also be treated as your top of the rack or end of the row for management so if you have servers over here we will see the design later on so if you have servers over here you can place this 2000 on top of the row top of the rack you can say or in the end of the row for management so instead of buying many 5000 series we can buy 1 5000 and we can buy 2000 so what is the technology behind it it is based on 802.1 dr and sex so you can say these are the parent devices parent device can be which 5000 series 6000 7000 and the this device does not have an operating system so your parent device will push an operating system to your switch so this is our 5000 and this is our 2000 series device and as seen previously there will be two yellow ports on this one over here for us to connect like this sorry so let's go back again the parent switch is extending so how will it be extended you will simply connect your ports over here and you will connect it to these these are your black links so these are your normal links connecting to your fabric extenders so there are many models of your fabric extenders this is your 2000 series no inbuilt ios and these fixes are managed by your parent devices so just like a simple switch simple with a simple switch with no operating system no console like it is it is just like adding you know you have usb extenders yes, yes. you extend your usb just think of it like that you have one port of usb you want four more ports on your usb what will you do simply take an extender like your extension box so you power this is not this is a comparison with usb power a yeah, power extension box this is switch port extension box you, you can think of it like this in yeah, layman terms it is managed by your parent parent device yes so there is see this these are the links wherein you will connect your parent device and here it may be 1 2 3 4 5 6 but this is of no concern to us here this will be 1 2 3 4 and this here we will put on our end users so for example if i show you like this this is your 5000 series or 6000 series or 7000 series this connects to fex 1 and 2 but they, this is of no use to us the importance is over here one and two on these two ports you will configure only two commands that we saw switch port mode fix now this these two ports will carry the operating system from your 5k so the os that your upstream parent device has will be pushed on your downstream device if you say show version it will show you the same and here you will associate him with some numbers so it will have 1 to 32 for example and it will show up on your 5k series device so you can connect this with physical interfaces or in a port channel or with vpcs you can connect it like this also with another upstream 5k and this will have one vpc that we'll see later on there are three methods as we discussed earlier don't worry about that we'll see we'll see to it later on yes so these are your models 2148 22 24 22 49 22 so 2000 first uh, 2000 first generation 2000 second generation you also have one new update in your syllabus you can see as of now if you see these are all 10 gb see these are 1 gigabit ethernet fabric extenders if you want 10 gigabits it's also there 100 gb ps per sfp is also available so 22 32 22 so these are your cost see i told you about over subscription ratio what is over subscription so if 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 you say i have an upstream device over here and i have a downstream device these are for example i have 1 to 32 ports but if i have only two links over here like that so you have to see the sub over subscription ratio if they, this is 32 gb over here if this is 32 gb and this is 8 gbps in a port channel then it becomes a over subscription ratio of 4 is to 1 okay so in here you can compare all the models if you want to see how does your fix look like you can also see like this 802.1 br highly scalable so always yeah. also supports fcoe over subscription ab batata hu 
See, this is how your here you can see 20 to 48. One G, one gigabit Ethernet. Thanks. So you can have a, a, a Ethernet port over here also. If you have 40 GBs, 100 GBs, then SFPs you will require. So you can flip it. See here, I have only four upstream ports. Depends on your this. So this can be 48, and there are this is one GB. So 48 ports downstream going to the servers, but four only going upstream. So it depends on the speed of these links. See, these are four into 10 GB. So here it is 48 GBs, and here it can be 40 GBs. So very less over subscription. You can see that 48 down and 40 above. So 8 GB extra. So nobody uses the full capacity. So it's okay. We can manage with that. This is how normal switch. See, do you find any console port over here? No. Nowhere because it is going to be managed by your upstream device and redundancy everywhere. Power supplies, dual power supplies, hot swappable, power socket, redundant sockets, fan front and back flow, yeah. and will be back then. Getting it? And here you can have these models. Let me show you all the models. Just a moment, I'll show you. Yeah, so you can say this is your 2348, the latest version. So if you are giving the CCI data center exam, you should take care of the lab equipment. You should understand all the features provided by this device. 20 to 48. So let's see the tech specs of your 20 to 48, 23, 48. It's in version two. 23, 48. If you want to compare, see 23, 23, 48 are two models. 48 ports, 100 GB, 1 to 10 GB, RJ45 connectors. Two is to one over subscription. Hardware can manage by 567 and also your 9000 series. So you can also manage this with a ACI fabric. If I say ACI, then it can be also managed by. And FCOE support, yes, up to 30 meters. Put side by side exhaust 32 MB flash. So you should know a little tech specs. What are what are the devices and models and all? What are 2348, 2232? So if you see more about FEX technology, it is simple. Now, this is what we saw. No console, no VDY port on the FEX. NX OS is automatically downloaded from the parent. Right? So 7K versus 5K, this is designing. 5K FEXs supports static pinning and VPC technologies. So you can use statically or you can use VPC also. Direct on base, yeah. We, are, we can use uh, this one also. Physical, we did first. One and one. On the port. Static, you, you can do, you can say that. And then you have seven, not all line cards will support fix. See, if I say line cards means you have M series and F series. So you have to be careful which port you are connecting. Maybe your F series does not support, maybe your M series, you have to be careful about it. And here it does not allow port channeling or VPCs. Static pinning only on the physical interfaces. So you have to see, now this, this is an old document, fairly old document. So you can say F3 may support. M3 may support depends on your model numbers. So if we compare our 7004 series, Nexus switch, this 7004 has a line card that is F3 series, for example, if I see, and this F3 series line card will support your X2000 series. So no worries, F, F series is very nice. And this is going to be added to your data center series. So if you see so the updated, the, the, the static Pinning is different concept, but yes, yes, possible, should be possible, yes. So this is your 2000 support F series module. And if I put it back inside, it will be inserted again, replace it. This is your 7004, small Nexus switch. Four slots. Yeah, four slots. So you can see two supervisors and two IO modules. Where is the fabric interconnect? It is, uh, sorry, where is the fab module? Crossbar fabric, we saw crossbar was in the front. Here it is integrated. See, if you see over here, it will have, it says no fab module. Fab module is already inserted with this. In your bigger devices, 7018, 7019, crossbar fabric that goes behind. Yeah, in here it is integrated. Yes, yes, there are things over there. So let's see, let's get back to our presentation. So this is how you will deploy. This is how we did static pinning. Each fix is connected to a single NXOS. This is statically pinned to him only. No other connection, no port channel. Simple, I have this 2000 series device over here and these have, it has four ports going to the upstream device. Traffic to and from the specific servers always uses the same links. 
static pinning. So if one link fails, these servers will go down. For example, if this server is taking this path. So if I say this server is taking this path on this link and this link fails, he will go out. The outage will come. So that is what static pinning says. So instead of using static pinning, you can use dynamic pinning. Dynamic means instead of being pinned to one physical interface, you will use a port channel. So if ever one link fails, it is pinned to the port channel. Automatically the device will load balance. So, the, so if you want, you can write it down. Deployment models are static through static. So the first model is straight through using static pinning. Second is straight through, sorry. Second is use straight through using dynamic pinning. So second is you are using a port channel instead of a normal pin. So straight through using static pinning, straight through using dynamic pinning. By default, maximum pins are one, but you can have maximum pins four also. That, that is a different thing. But as of now, the second time, the second also we did on 5k1 and 5k2, we did a port channel. Third is usually used. Third one is active active fix using virtual port channels. So we did virtual port channels over here. Simply we will give one extra command as VPC 20 and VPC 20 on this side also. So yeah, because we want redundancy everywhere, everywhere. So that is why we will use active active fix using VPC. So your downstream device is going to be used by upstream two devices, but he thinks I have only one. Guy. And that is for us to use all the links. So three deployment models straight to using static pinning straight through using dynamic pinning and active active using VPCs. And this is what we will do because we prefer this VPC is a nice technology. We will use this one. So if you see more of it, what are the configurations? Configuration is pretty straight, straightforward. Let us see the configuration. The configuration is this one. It's first to enable the feature. Second is to configure an instance number. This is technically uh, not very important, but if you have to do something, it's required. So this you, you might be able to miss. It's okay. So first you have to say feature fix. Second, you have to say fix and description. It's a good, good practice. If you are in a big DC environment, third is pinning changing and all Fourth is. So what we did was we simply went on the fix on the device feature fix interface e one bar one dash two switch port mode is fix hyphen fabric and fix associate one one two for example this is one one way of doing that the other way is interface e one slash one dash two here you will add channel hyphen group one mode no mode here because the other device does not have an OS and then you go inside the port channel one here you say switch port mode is fix fabric. This is dynamic and the third one is simple as this straight as this. So if I say this is a third method, the third one will be in the port channel. I will say VPC 20 for example, third method by doing virtual port channels. So feature is important. So let's write it down. So you also have to give this text associate command. So this is the third way of doing third method, third method with active active using fix, active active fix using virtual port channels. Active active, both are active upstreams, PPC. These, this is one big port channel for him. This is one big port channel and this is one big port channel. So for one downstream device, these two are one upstreams. And the commands are pinning max links for you can use. See, it is using pinning max links for it will pin it automatically. But let's see, let's go more in depth on this one. But as of now, this is how your ports will appear. That is what we saw. Show interface brief. If you say it will begin from one one. What we if we said one one two, then here you'll see one one two slash one slash one. And this is how it looks. So you have all these configurations you can now now it, it's now this configuration is like you can treat it as a layer two port or a layer three port so this is what you can treat it as a layer two access or layer two trunk or a layer three normal port or a layer three sub interface so you can be very granular about that layer three sub interface means 
huge configurations. So if you have sub interfaces, a switch beyond that, and then more servers, more virtual machines, it, it goes more inside the cloud. So here fax related, huh, this is very important. See what happens is just draw this diagram first. This is your parent switch. This will come in handy when you're doing FCOE, fiber channel over ethernet, then you will bind this one interface with one virtual fiber channel interface. Just draw this one and then we will write down what are these four types. Draw this diagram first. So what are the meanings of these? Fabric facing interface, the upstream facing over here, this is the fabric facing. This is the host facing interface. And again, this is your virtual interface and your logical interface. You will create interface VFC once you do FC, then it comes in clear. So the other thing is UCS and all fabric interconnects. There is something called an IO module on your UCS. There is something called an IO module that we'll discuss later. That is also called a fix, but don't worry about it. This is another series. I'll tell you in a, in a, in a nutshell, actually. This is your unified computing system. We, we saw Chasey. It has some connection over here. This connection, there are actually two connections inside, but we draw, actually it is over here inside, but we draw it over here just for our, our sake. So these, these ports, these ports are called your input output modules. They are just simple switch and these are your fix devices. So that is what it is saying. You, once we discuss UCS, they will be, they will be connecting to a unique device called the fabric interconnect 6200, 6000 series fabric interconnects. That is what the PPT says that this can be deployed with. So you have 2200. The design model that we were discussing is you can have it on top of the rack, top of the rack. It can be placed or it can be placed in middle top of many racks. If you have less servers, then top of many racks. You can also have it with and the, at the end of the row. But usually at the end of the row, you will have 5000 series and 2000 will be on the top of racks. Depends on how you have your server available. This is just the design stuff. And then middle of the row, raised floor and how you design. So if you have many servers, then it's okay. Many servers will require a 2K. And these 2Ks will be managed by an end of the row, 5000 series. 